Hi dear cricket friends and subscribers of Cricket Happenings, uh, your host Ram here with your favorite show, the Cricket Happening Show. Well, what are we going to look at today? We have the uh, test match uh, which is being played, the third test match between Sri Lanka and England where this is being played at the Rose Bowl for the first time and uh, well it has been a very very bad start as far as that is concerned and currently uh, Sri Lanka are really um, struggling uh, because of the conditions there and also some moisture in the pitch there 29 for 2 currently I'll be talking about that but it has been a stop start uh, in fact uh, the match got off to a very wet start it didn't start on time as usual it has, has been happening in this series uh, and finally it started and uh, two wickets apiece for Anderson and Tremblett I'll come to that later and here India are trying uh, India are finding it very difficult to deal with the pace and bounce of this uh, Kingston Jamaica pitch in Sabina Park as traditionally as you know Sabina Park Jamaica is very fast uh, the speed merchants have done a great job at this in this pitch uh, once upon a time and today the Indians are uh, finding it a bit difficult both the openers are uh, back to the pavilion uh, Virat Kohli sorry it was uh, Parthi Patel and Shikhar Dhawan open the innings and both are back into the pavilion uh, by sent by one wicket each to Andre Russell and Kemar Roche, Virat Kohli and Manus Tiwari at the crease. We'll come to that later. Uh, in the meanwhile, what I'll do is I'll I'll cover some uh, cricket news uh, if at all. Yes, uh, one the news that uh, which is really making headlines now and uh, West Indies cricket uh, is uh, really poorer without Chris Gale according to me. And it seems that Chris Gale had a meeting uh, with the West Indies cricket board yesterday and probably uh, there was some heated debate over there and uh, it seems like Gale uh, is having a real tough time uh, one has to really only pray that uh, Chris Gale uh, plays for the West Indies again uh, and uh, does well because uh, there seems to be some real doubt now as far as Chris Gale is concerned and as you know the Sri Lanka like the IPL the Sri Lanka Premier League is going to start and uh, Pakistani uh, speedster former Pakistani speedster Shoy Bakhtar has uh, decided to give it a miss uh, probably due to personal reasons so that's as far as some person some news is concerned now what I'm going to do is well there's a wicket so I'm going to take you down to uh, the Rose Bowl here in Southampton Sri Lanka are really really struggling they have lost their very very vital wicket here of Kumar Sangakra as this was a short ball from him and well Sangakra has fished at that and prior behind the stumps has done the rest Sangakra is walking caught prior bold Anderson for two and England are really really turning this on on this wet pitch here Sri Lanka struggling right now 29 for 3 currently their mainstay their main uh, main person Kumar Sangakra is back into the pavilion he's the captain of the team and unfortunately he is gone so just um, uh, talking about this match here I'm just going to tell you what exactly happened here as I said there's a third and final te third, third test match being played here uh, in this uh, test series between England and Sri Lanka and played in start off uh, on time here and then there's a stop start situation rain interrupting play and then finally play began now as far as England was the ones who actually won the toss and and actually put Sri Lanka in which was the right decision to uh, take and uh, for Sri Lanka well they had um, uh, there was not much of a much of a change unless I mean Lahuru Tiramani actually came into the team and he actually made his test debut today uh, along with uh, Tanga Pranavatana uh, as, as uh, Telugadne Dilshan uh, is uh, out with a fractured finger and for England well they uh, they had the same they had Anderson coming back into the uh, mix here and Finn actually making way for Anderson and well for um, for as I said England currently uh, sorry Sri Lanka currently of 29 for 3 uh, the first wicket to go today uh, was uh, it was uh, Tirimani, Lahuri Tirimani did not have a good debut even though he scored a century in the tour match uh, but uh, today he was scalped by Anderson, Anderson got the ball to move and Tirimani edged it and Tirimani was gone for 10 so that was the first wicket to go after that uh, Tremlett produced a beautiful uh, late uh, moving delivery and Tanaka Pranavatana was trapped on the pads and he was gone LBW bowl Tremlett for 11 and as you know Kumar Sangakra just dismissed and now Mahele Jayavardhane and Tilan Samravira at the crease. So two wickets to two wickets for 12 runs for Anderson and one for five for Tremlett. And as I said, uh, England definitely taking the right decision to 
actually put the Sri Lankans in and Sri Lankans are really really struggling right now. So now I am going to take you down to some cricket commentary here in this uh, third, in the fifth and final one day international between India and West Indies where India 3-1 uh, uh, in this series and uh, well just talking about the match here uh, Hess uh, in, in Kingston in Jamaica uh, the match definitely got off to a, a real um, uh, I mean scheduled start and uh, Shikhar the and for, for India there were some changes uh, Shikhar the one uh, came back into the team uh, Vinay Kumar uh, getting an opportunity today uh, to actually play here so one is to really look at how Vinay Kumar shapes up um, and there is no Praveen Kumar today so Vinay Kumar takes his place there uh, and Shikhar Divan and Pathiv Patel open the innings well as I said uh, Kingston Jamaica Savannah Park uh, definitely has a lot of juice in it there's some pace and bounce so Kemar Roush and Andrew Russell has definitely exploited that in fact it was Andrew Russell with his first over giving them the breakthrough with uh, Pathiv Patel struggling there actually going for the hook shot but actually skying it and Anthony Martin running backwards taking a very wonderful catch so Parthiv Patel was gone caught Martin ball Russell for six and after that Kemar Roche got a ball to really climb on Shikhar Divan Shikhar Divan tried to glide it uh, over the slips but uh, well he couldn't do that the ball was uh, too good for that and Sarwan pouched the catch and he was gone so Shikhar Divan is also gone caught Sarwan ball Roche for 11 and Shikhar Divan let me tell you he was really really struggling at the crease and uh, finally and he has been dismissed so currently they are 33 for 2 Virat Kohli is looking confident with two boundaries 11 of 15 balls two fours and Manoj Tiwari uh, is not out on uh, two currently 33 for 2 after nine overs India uh, West Indies winning the toss and electing to field and that was the right decision and India are really being tested on this uh, pacey and bouncy pitch which has been uh, once upon a time an exclusive preserve for the West Indies uh, Kemar Rose 5 overs no made in 1 for 17 Darren Sami has been costly 1 over for 9 runs he was taken for boundaries and result 3 overs no made in 1 for 7 and uh, well for West Indies they have and, uh, Adrian Barath into the team as an opener so that is the only change there as far as West Indies are concerned India I've already spoken about it uh, they have uh, two changes they have uh, Vinay Kumar coming in place of Pravin Kumar and there is also a place for Shikhar Divan uh, who actually uh, as uh, coming to the team actually you know Manoj Tiwari opened the innings as you remember and uh, well uh, so now right now um, wha wha let me just give a commentary on the one day international because one day internationals are, are more in vogue as you know so 33 for 2 as Roche bowls to Kohli and Kohli has hit a boundary so score has gone on to score is 33 for 2 right now and that was a beautiful shot from Kohli uh, it was played on the uh, on the offside by Kohli and as you know Kohli definitely is very very strong on the offside Manoj Tiwari is 3 uh, batting on 3 and we are waiting with Andre Russell into the attack now bowling to it's going to be Virat Kohli taking strike to Andre Russell so I'll keep some com cricket comment going uh, till such time and uh, well, um, I don't think I'll be having much time to really cover here, but still I will go with some commentary as Russell comes in and bowls to Kohli. Uh, Kohli uh, just uh, tries to turn it down and uh, he actually is not able to really um, go past the square leg and he won't get a single. As in comes Russell, bowls to Kohli and Kohli glances that down to the leg side and he will get a couple of runs. So Kirat Kohli is 13 not out of 17 balls with two fours. Manoj Tiwari is 3 not out of 4 balls. India 36 for 2 currently in the 10th over. Um, West Indies winning the toss electing to field in this 5th and final one day international between West Indies and India played at Sabana Park, Kingston in Jamaica. And um, just taking you down to the match between England and Sri Lanka. Well, that, uh, yes, uh, the, the score still stays at the same score. Uh, the reason being probably there's some rain interruption. England won the toss elected to field. And Sri Lanka 29 for 3 really struggling right now and there is bad news too as rain has uh, hit the, the rose ball in Southampton and the covers are onto the field uh, that's it from me your host Ram for the cricket happening show for today uh, hopefully uh, you will be seeing me with uh, either an either a match report if at all I cover it in the evening or it will be a match analysis tomorrow until then this is Ram bidding goodbye thank you